you staring at? You wanna make a fucking high cut helmet out of an old PAS GT like this one right here? Because that's what I'm working on. I've been working on this puppy for quite a long time. Uh, these white markings here are basically just approximations. Uh, just to illustrate what I intend on doing. As you can see, you can uh, my cut marks here. Gonna remove all that. Remove a little bit off the back. I'll explain this mess later. <clears throat> I will be drilling holes here for the new NVG mount and of course drilling new holes for the rail mount and I'll also explain what I intend on doing with the pre-existing holes because I really I'm not gonna have any use for them and um, yeah pain in the ass this um, this has proved to be so much more difficult to cut through than my uh, ballistic face mask you know I have a bulletproof face mask uh, actually I made a video about it check it out um, I modified that thing. I cut a significant amount of material off of that, off the whole radius of the mask, and it was about half as difficult as this thing. So, check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty ambitious. It ain't easy. Uh, speaking of, let me go ahead and show you what kind of tools I've been using. <laughs> Alright humans, and EBEs of course, here's a look at my tools, obviously that's not a tool, that's the helmet itself. Um, what I've primarily been using is this cheap Chinese made rotary tool, it's basically a knockoff of a Dremel, but um, <clears throat> for 20 bucks shipped, um, it's been worth its weight in gold so to speak. Here's the brim, just for fun. So that was, for those of you who are not familiar with a PASGT helmet, that went right here. So that has been successfully removed. I uh, just got to do the two ear panels and a small little sliver in the rear. Now, this thing, this is supposed to be a diamond dust coated steel cutting wheel. This was useless after about 15 minutes, 20 minutes worth of cutting. So that thing is crap. This thing, I got a few of these different little saw wheels which require a specific mandrel which is this piece right here. So this, the hole here, uh, requires a specific mandrel because it's a much wider hole just uh, for comparison there that now it came or this pack of saw blades came with a, a mandrel for this hole it was ever so slightly bent honestly I thought it was just my eyes I thought I was just being kind of paranoid I stuck it in there anyway as soon as I turned it on this thing started whipping around like a freaking lunatic bronco and I just uh, it flew out of my hands fell on the floor I'm glad it still works, which is amazing. So I can't use these. I've been using a shitload of these things. These are fantastic, but you have to constantly swap them out. Constantly. You know, you can do about five to maybe ten minutes of cutting, and this thing is, is useless. You know? So those don't work either. These are the latest addition to my cutting gear for this rotary tool. These are essentially the same thing except obviously they're much larger and they are take a look at that they are reinforced with fiberglass. This is probably what I'm going to end up completing the project with. I did actually use a, I believe it's called a radial saw that I had borrowed 
from my neighbor right here. Now, it chewed through that Kevlar like a fucking dream, but obviously it made a wonderful mess of things at the same time, and that's just unacceptable. I can't have that. If I just get bored cutting, I use this thing. And, uh, you know, I never get very far with it, but it does help to slowly whittle away at the Kevlar. The pre-existing holes, those will be filled with epoxy and then sanded down if they're not already flush. But, wish me well, and, um, yeah, let's move on. Okay, so there's a little peek at some of the tools that I've been using for this particular project and how they may or may not have been working out for me. Um, one thing I would love to ask anybody who's watching this video, I would, I would love to have your help um, to seal the outer edge. What should I use? Just like this material here, this it's like incredibly durable rubber type material. Um, personally, I was thinking of using liquid nails and just using it like clay and just kind of pressing it on there and doing the best job that I can, you know, do. Um, but if anybody out there has a better idea, I would really love to hear about it. It'll be a while before I get to that point. So don't forget to, you know, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments and throw some suggestions my way. That would be much appreciated. Anyway, so uh, that's about it for now. And don't forget to check out some really badass Dr. Satan gear. Uh, link in the description below. Um, right now I'm only selling off of my Dr. Satan Facebook page. Uh, but I will be selling off of eBay very soon, which is pretty exciting. I also have a Patreon account now. If you like my material, don't hesitate to become a patron of mine. And well, what else? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's about it for now, humans. Love you guys. Peace.